In 1990 Australian Army obtained 15 LAV-25 armoured personnel carriers from the US Marine Corps for evaluation purposes. In 1992, after almost two years of trialing it was announced that Australia would purchase a family of LAV light armoured vehicles, modified to suit terrain and climatic conditions, as well as specific Australian Army requirements. This family was designated as the ASLAV or Australian Light Armoured Vehicle. Production commenced in 1995 and ceased in 2007. A total of 257 vehicles were produced in Canada. Some parts and systems were manufactured locally. The ASLAV 25 Armored Reconnaissance Vehicle is a primary vehicle of the ASLAV family. It provides reconnaissance capability of the regiment. Also it is often used for raiding and screening operations, where its speed and mobility can best be exploited. Armor of the ASLAV 25 provides protection against small arms fire, mine blasts, and artillery fragments. Protection of this reconnaissance vehicle can be increased by fitting add-on ceramic armor tiles. Vehicle can be also fitted with slat armor, which improves protection against RPG rounds. Automatic fire suppression system was fitted as standard. The ASLAV 25 is fitted with a two-man turret, similar to that of the LAV 25. It is armed with the M242 25mm Bushranger chain gun, which has a dual feed system and fires two types of ammunition, armor piercing and high explosive. The M242 has an effective range of 2000 meters. Secondary armament consists of coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. Another 7.62mm machine gun is mounted on top of the roof in the open mount. The ASLAV 25 has a crew of three and can carry six fully equipped troops. Occupants enter and leave the vehicle through the rear doors or roof hatches. Vehicle is powered by the Detroit Diesel 6V53T turbocharged diesel engine, developing 275 horsepower. It has ability to operate in either four or eight wheel drive. The ASLAV 25 is fully amphibious with three minute preparation. It is propelled on water by two water jets mounted at the rear of the hull. The turret can be traversed and the main gun fired while vehicle is afloat. Vehicle is fitted with a self-recovery winch as standard.